The scarred pillar outside of this place of worship on Jasmine Street is rather unassuming. In fact, a few dozen churchgoers may have stridden past these pockmarks on Sunday morning and perhaps paid no attention to the chipped column. But it was here that 42-year-old Marvin Flowers came under deadly gunfire as he stood at the entrance of Westside Assembly of God Church. In recent weeks, the construction worker reportedly frequented the location where he was often seen on his cell phone. Like the man made the wrong thought, like a text by a phone, you know, and like, like he did, like he did once, but like all the while, so like the way I see it, he he the wait for something happen, you know, like that, but like, like, and I really mean to watch the clock, same way, the same way when I hear the ringing, you know, yeah, but for the time I hear, I hear, I hear I must have at least like six or, or eight, eight rounds gone off, you know, yeah, as I hear the ringing, I don't know if something happened to the same way, but when I see the bright light and thing, I don't, like, I'm done, figure out, like, like somebody drop, you know. Flowers had been blindsided by an unknown assailant who let loose a barrage of bullets in his direction. Mortally wounded, he attempted to flee his attacker by running in the direction of Mahogany Street. You know, that guy just like that, you know, like, man, they can't deal with that. And, like, you know, nobody, you know, something going on wrong, so like that, you know. Yeah. Talk to us about Marvin. How long have you known him and was he a resident of this area? Yeah, yeah. The man, the man hang on here, yeah, I think, uh, the man, man come visit the people there now and again, you know? Yeah, but the man not really, the man not really live wrong yeah, you know? But the man people there live wrong yeah, you know? The man live up the road there, so with the um, people there, you know? With the gang, uh, yeah. Man stay up the um, Benham, uh, Flowers was struck multiple times, including a gunshot wound to the side of the face. The incident came on the heels of a previous shooting within the neighborhood, where, as of late, tensions have escalated considerably. So when you heard the shots fire, did you go around the corner to see what was taking place? You no, know, I don't, I don't feel lazy if you move there, you know, cause like, you know, I don't really hot if you go say, you know, like bad, you know, really hot if you bad news and I don't know anyway. So how did you find out then that it was your friend Marvin who was killed? Well, my home back off and up the street and asked me if you say a piece of fun though. Uh, I tell him I hear a ringing on the back street and he tell me how oh, no, no, Marvin get it. God, like that, that's the second, that, that's like the, the third time when ringing gone after. Yeah, can't first one ringing gone off on the back street, but the man who was standing right there laying and telling me about it. But I never hear it. I stand up right by the street and he done. Yeah. And then like after that, like like before, like before that, like so time wrong the same time, like they pick up another young boy up on the back street, that's the same way. Something again the same way, you know, like, yeah. Somebody said, I figured I'm saying, I'm in you know, my mind, I figured I'm saying, set, you know, like, but I don't really know it, when my wing hit, and I don't really know if now a car or somebody ride past or something, you know. Now, no, this neighborhood is getting dangerous once again in terms of all the situations involving crime and violence. Uh, do you feel that way as someone who lives here? Mm, like, you know, well, me, you know, I say, man, come, come, do thing, you know, so, like, I feel like, you know, I feel pain that a war to take place, or man, do thing, you know, man, man, beef, or something, do it, you know, like, you know, you know, everything for them, the politics, you know, they know what they go on, you know, so, you know, they figure they got the situation to control, so. While police are investigating the weekend homicide, no arrests have been made thus far. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.